Indiana lawmakers are close to wrapping up this year's legislative session. Fox 59's Kristen Escow joining us to show us what's left to get done next week. Lawmakers have already sent many bills to the governor's desk, but there are some that are still waiting for a final vote. One of those is a bill that would allow many Hoosiers age 18 and older to carry handguns without a permit. It passed the House, the Senate changed it significantly, and then it died due to a procedural issue. Now the House's version has been reintroduced in a different bill. I asked Governor Eric Holcomb where he stands on the debate. He says he's weighing the concerns from the Indiana State Police Superintendent. If I do sign it after careful thought, um, understanding what the superintendent articulated is real, um, we may have to look high and low uh, to make some changes. Another controversial measure that did not get final approval this session, a school curriculum bill that would have regulated how teachers talk about race in the classroom. Lawmakers say it's highly unlikely any form of that bill will come back in a different bill before the end of session. Meanwhile, the proposal to ban transgender girls from playing girls' school sports is headed to the governor's desk. The ACLU and other groups have promised to sue the state if this becomes law. The attorney general's office says it will defend the state in that case. Governor Holcomb has said he supports the idea of keeping sports separated by gender, but hasn't said if he will sign this specific bill. Now, the governor has already signed the bill that places restrictions on vaccine mandates and extends some financial assistance programs. Governor Holcomb had requested those programs stay funded before he ended the public health emergency. In the final version of the legislation, employees who face a vaccine mandate but do not wish to receive the vaccine can apply for medical or religious exemptions and may be required to submit to COVID testing. We were really kind of always looking for that, that right balance, uh, frankly, that would protect uh, workers, uh, allow businesses to remain uh, open. We include natural immunity, which is a huge issue and an issue, frankly, that, that changed even from November to today. The final version of the legislation says Hoosiers whose exemptions are denied are not disqualified from receiving unemployment. The new law also ends additional SNAP benefits some Hoosiers have been receiving during the pandemic. Those expire on April 16th. In the newsroom, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. After signing the bill that limits vaccine mandates, Governor Holcomb signed an executive order ending the state's public health emergency. The governor citing the decline in cases and continued financial support in that health bill for his decision.